Do you know what else the dragon has bought? The principles of a free and fair internet. China is now interfering with your YouTube activity. You cannot post certain comments because China doesn't like them. But why is YouTube doing the dragon's bidding? And how does it explain this political censorship? This report has some answers. The World Wide Web. It is supposed to be free, fair and neutral. How then do you explain this? Go to YouTube and comment Gong Fei or Wu Mao in Mandarin. It does not have to be a video. You could comment on a live stream too. Don't be surprised if the phrases are deleted within 15 seconds. This is no abracadabra. This is the Chinese Communist Party controlling your lives in ways you didn't even know. Gong Fei means communist bandit and the transliteration for Wu Mao is 50 cent party. Both these phrases are insults for the CCP and Xi Jinping's men are systematically filtering criticism from online platforms. Does YouTube know about this? Of course they do. YouTube says it's a case of accidental censorship, meaning the phrases were accidentally added to YouTube's comment filters. But if that is the case, then why did it go unnoticed for six long months? Some users say comments were being deleted as early as October 2019. The case only becomes more curious. Did you know that YouTube isn't even available in China? This is no accidental censorship. This is a clear case of China trying to interfere with freedom of speech and expression even outside its soil. China has done this before and it is doing it again. The dragon's nefarious game is no longer a secret. Beijing tried to shape the worldview of social media users through TikTok. It was exposed. China deployed a troll army on Twitter. The Milk Tea Alliance shooed them home. And now, we are not surprised that the dragon has deployed bots to filter YouTube comments. Why is YouTube cooperating with China? YouTube's parent company Google has a history of selling out its principles to China. In 2018, it was working on Project Dragonfly. This was a search engine in compliance with Chinese state censorship. The news was leaked and the project had to be terminated in 2019. It has been almost a year now and cozying up to the Chinese censors once again may be Google's best bet to enter the Chinese market. Bureau Report, Vion World is One.